Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. I'm so glad you came over to our channel today. And if you are new to my channel, I want to introduce myself. My name is Teresa. Welcome to my channel everybody. Today's video is going to be all about how we put on a wedding for our daughter on a very tight budget. So I'm going to give y'all tons of ideas, inspiration, and just tips of things that we did to save money. Some of these we used thrifted items, we got yard sale finds, and some of these items were barred and were free to us. So I'm just going to kind of go through everything that we did for her wedding. I'm going to show you lots of photos and footage of things of how we decorated and a lot of DIYs that you can use and make for your wedding day. And you know just to be able to put on an, an outdoor rustic fall wedding it doesn't have to be elegant and fancy but it does turn out very nice everybody at the end of the wedding came up and told us it was perfect and it was perfect for us so i hope y'all enjoy the video and i hope you get lots of inspiration and ideas if you're planning a wedding in the future If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it. And also, go over and follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love for you to. And also, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. Thanks so much. The first thing you want to do when you're planning an outdoor wedding is you want to pray for no rain. And we did this constantly up until the day. It didn't even look very promising that day. We were surrounded by rain and we were checking the radar up to about a half hour before the wedding. God came through for us and we had a lot of sunshine for the wedding and for the reception. After the last guest left the reception, a monsoon hit. So we were cleaning up in a lot of rain, but the wedding and the reception went off without a hitch. And I just wanted to kind of go over things that we did to save money. As far as selecting a venue, we saved money by going with our church. Our church did not charge us anything for being outdoors. We did have to put down a deposit because we were indoors for restrooms and for my daughter and um, her, her husband to have a room for them to get ready. But that was all the money that it cost us for our venue. It was free. Now, we are going to have it in the prayer garden of our church, which has a beautiful water feature. This was the, you know, the centerpiece of our wedding right here. We had these beautiful benches behind us, so we wanted to access those. So I'm going to give you some ideas of what we did for the benches. My daughter wanted to go rustic, but she does love pearls, and she is kind of a frou-frou little cowgirl. But we just went with white mums, white pumpkins, and I had a great friend that offered to let me borrow her asparagus ferns that you see right here. And that is a great tip. If you have friends or our neighbors that may have some beautiful greenery such as ferns or, or florals, see if you can borrow those. That will really save you a lot of money. The mums we um, actually purchased from a church. It was a fundraiser, so the money was well spent for those. And the pumpkins we got also from the church fundraiser, and we also purchased some from Walmart. Ben's brother-in-law here, Joe, he performed the ceremony for us, and it was absolutely beautiful. Reagan's little bridesmaid, she wore sage green because her colors were green, sa green sage, cream, and pink. Now, as far as our photography and our invitations, we wanted to go budget-friendly. So I ordered a template down on Etsy. They have a lot to choose from. You just pick out your template, and then it is down, it's sent to you in a download in your email. You design it with the graphics and the tech with the text that you want. You know, it already has the graphics, so we went with her colors, and this one was perfect for them. It had a front, and it had a back. All I had to set do all I had to do was sit down, put in our text and our information for our wedding day, and then I went out to Canva and I actually designed a little insert to go in it um, myself. Canva is a free graphics design um, application you can download on your computer, and I'll leave a link down below for it. Now you once you design your um, 
your invitations, you can print them on your printer at home, or you can, you know, send them to a Walgreens or a Walmart. We chose to go with the recommended printer company that the little Etsy shop had recommended, and it could, we couldn't have been happier with the way they printed them. They were very affordable. They come out per invitation. It was a little over a dollar for each one. We ordered 70, but my advice to you is order more than you feel like you're going to need because if you ever have to go back and reorder the price will go up because the more you order the less the price per invitation and this is what hers look like and i think these just turned out beautiful they were simple but they also have an elegant touch and the place that printed them not only were they affordable but they had very fast shipping and they actually have expedited shipping so if you're in a crunch and you need them even faster they're very accommodating and they also both of these companies they send you a proof to make sure that everything is the way you want it before they go ahead with your order and they're so that made it very easy to work with and you know they have several sizes you can choose from so that was you know easy and then all i had to do was collect the addresses go to the post office buy some stamps and we mailed them now this is a little bit of a fun thing we did during the reception while we were waiting for my daughter and her husband to get their their post wedding pictures made and re and get to the reception so i just handed out these little advice and wish cards these were so cute it just asked little questions for people to fill out and give them advice and then i ordered these cute little mr and miss pencils off of amazon and i'm going to link them down below in my amazon store this is some little money envelopes that people wanted to give them money. These we re really did not use because people that brought money um, as their gift, they already had it in like a wedding card. And I will show you how I had that table set up as far as gifts and, and the money. But the advice cards, I just made them to be rustic. I just got a pickle jar we had. I decorated it. I printed out a little graphic. I had a few little pearls and some twine. And that's where everybody dropped their little advice cards. So now, you know, Noah and Reagan can go one day. They can go through their little cards and enjoy and have fun reading all the cute little advice and you know um, inspiration that people gave them now as far as photography we went with a local guy here and here's his information if anyone is local and would like to contact him he was a fantastic photographer and his prices were very reasonable now as far as decorations and special touches um, I've already told you we went with the white mums and white pumpkins and I think they really you know for a fall wedding they really added a great detail to it. Reagan did splurge on her wedding cake. She got a naked chocolate cake and we just added some of her flowers to it. And then, and this is another thing when you're planning a wedding, try to get decorations that you can reuse later on. You know, don't go home and have to storm in the attic, but get things that either you can give to the bride and groom that they can use in their home or you can take back and you can use. So all the mums and the white pumpkins now are sitting on my front porch. And a little idea to add another little special touch to your wedding is get out your Cricut or, you know, decoupage some graphics onto your pumpkins. These were created with, with a Cricut and we just went, you know, and did, you know, made them three pumpkins. And this just adds just a little special touch to the little wedding area and, you know, to the reception. Now, the little benches in the prayer garden, we wanted to do something special for those, so we wanted to feature the granddads that had already passed on. So I just took some little frames that I already had on hand. I pick up frames a lot of times at yard sales, so I always have these in my supplies. I spray painted them white, and I put a photo of each granddad in, in each frame, and we put those at the bench so they would be there with, um, you know, with Reagan and Noah during their wedding. Another special touch that we did, Reagan's dad ordered these cufflinks off of Amazon. They're customizable. You put a photo in them, and these were less than $10. This is a great little keepsake also. We did not have a little ring bearer, so we just put their wedding bands on a little wood slice, and the best man carried these with him.
the next thing that we made this is a pinterest inspired centerpiece my daughter saw these and knew she had to have these she wanted us to put some florals in some cowboy or cowgirl boots so it was um kind of ironic because my best friend lisa had a yard sale a moving sale right before the wedding and she was selling these little cowgirl boots for three dollars they were perfect so you know if you have some that you wear and they're sentimental to you those would be perfect also so i'm just going to tell you these little three dollar boots that we purchased i'm just gonna you could paint them if you wanted to but i just went with them with the brown i thought they were pretty as is and just to give them a little bit of weight we went outside in our dry Way. we put some rocks in a plastic bag tied it up and that way when you put your flowers in it your little boots won't be top heavy now i use pool, pool noodles i just put a slit all the way down my pool noodle i cut it down to size for the length of the boot and i just put the bouquets down in it and it held them really well now i just stuffed a little um some plastic bags in the size just to give it a little bit more um, you know poof and then that was it I told y'all my daughter loves pearls so we just strung pearls on them and this made a great centerpiece we put this on her cake table and it just kind of went you know with our theme and the the bouquet of flowers if y'all watched any of my videos y'all seen these a lot I ordered these off of Amazon they come in lots of colors I have them linked in my Amazon store these are less than ten dollars they're absolutely beautiful these were also when of the bridesmaids gifts we ordered each of them a bouquet like this and this was part of their gift my daughter's bouquet will be very similar to this all the bouquets and our florals were ordered off of amazon and i will have them linked in my store but just just a cute little idea that cost us you know the cost of the bouquet and the little boots and like i say if you have boots on hand you know you you you're already one up you know you don't have to spend any money on your boots now to save money too uh, you know versus getting placards and stuff printed i did all of my printing on canva and i told y'all i will leave a link to it below but it's just a free graphics design application it's very easy to use and it's also what i use for my thumbnails on my youtube channel now another highlight i wanted i wanted to give reagan and noah some things that they could keep and use in their home later on and this was another really highlighted um, detail for the wedding and this was ordered off of amazon and it's a customizable uh, MDF um, type wood sign you can buy them painted or you can buy them just raw wood and I went with the raw wood and I decided to paint it myself and this is a very large um, cut out now you can order it whatever size you want but I think I went with the 36 inch um, I'll leave the measurement of the one that I purchased down below I hung it on a yard sale window pane I paid three dollars for this huge window pane so here's another decorating tip use you know old vintage rustic style decorating pieces in these window panes a lot of times you can pick them up for less than ten dollars and i always pick them up when i see them because i love decorating with window panes but i just hung the their last name on that window and then these willow chairs i had on my side porch so i took a lot of decorations for my home and incorporated it into the wedding to save money these willow chairs i featured in several of my videos and they were ten dollars they were five dollars each at a thrift store and they made a great prop for the sign i just added some tool bows and the tool um, ribbon i purchased at dollar tree so another great idea when you're looking for you know embellishments or details for a wedding old chairs uh, this one i already had on hand this was a thrifted item i think i paid about 25 dollars for it already had it at home and I, I purchased this old mailbox this was at stevens antiques and i purchased it and i just put a dollar tree pull bow on it and this is what i put on the gift table and people could put their money cards in it i took an old picture that reagan was taken with her dad when she was small and i just went out on canva and i designed i, I found a little poem out on online and i just kind of made her her own little you know just i don't know just a little memorable plaque of her and her dad since this was a special day for her and her dad was walking her down the aisle i just kind of another special touch you know just to really personalize things 
for the the bride and the groom now these are some little wrought iron metal stands another way to save money is yard sales my good friend lisa like i mentioned was having a moving sale she'd used these in her daughter's wedding and so she sold me these for ten dollars each they're in good shape but they're kind of um they just needed a good coat of some spray paint just to kind of freshen them up. And I added some bows to these. And you'll see these at the reception area. But, you know, I just went over them with some Walmart cheap paint. Like I say, they didn't need a lot of work. Just wanted to refresh them and make them a little brighter white. And you could use these, you know, in so many areas of an outdoor wedding. You could also, you know, get a board or a little tabletop and, you know, make a table out of them too. Or, or you know, put plants or your ferns on them. So just more ideas of things that you could look for at thrift stores or yard sales. This is also another yard sale find. This, I, I think I paid a dollar or two for it at a yard sale. This just is a friend's welcome sign. It says the same on the front and the back. I was going to paint it white, but I really love the patina on it. So in the reception, you'll see it. I just stuck another one of those little pool bows that I purchased at Dollar Tree. And, you know, I always go in the wedding section at Dollar Tree because you get a pack of little, those large white pool bows. You get two to a pack for a dollar. So I just kind of added those in. Um, in certain places where I didn't want to make, you know, handmade bows. And I did make all the, my daughter's bows. They are all handmade except the ones I purchased at Dollar Tree. Now, this little wreath holder, it came in handy too. It's a thrift store find. I purchased it a couple years ago for $5. I did a video on it a while back when I did my side porch. I spray painted it. And we just added a little sign that we made with our Cricut. I added some little stained flower sack cloth for a hanger, and we hung that up. That is how easy that was. That was pretty much free. <laughs> so, you know, and it pairs well with the little boots and our centerpiece we made. If You know, just giving you more ideas and inspiration of how you can stage things for your wedding area. Now, lots of photos were used at my daughter's wedding. This is another very inexpensive way to really personalize the space. I just went out to her Facebook page and I just downloaded a lot of photos she had, you know, of their dating and just them being together. And I sent them to Walgreens and they delivered them to my home. I didn't even have to go and pick them up. But you could go pick them up and they have same day photo print. And I just framed them in frames that I had. And this was very inexpensive and I just placed them throughout the, the wedding area. And she even commented how much she loved their little personalized photos. Another item that I added that was very inexpensive and also adds ambiance and actually they smell good even outside is candles. You can pick up candles very inexpensive at Walmart. These I purchased at Aldi, the, the larger ones, the mainstay, the little pink tape um, candles for the votives. Those were purchased at Walmart, but these were Aldi. They cost $3.99. Uh, actually, the wind was blowing that day, so we tried to light the candles, but they wouldn't stay lit. But just an idea, you know, light your candles. Even though you're outdoors, they still will put off a really nice scent. Another really highlighted item that we, we hung above the picnic tables in the reception area was a chandelier. Chandeliers can add so much of a rustic but elegant feel. And this is a previous video and I'll link it below. But we just, I purchased this for $5 at a yard sale. We took all the electrical out of it. We, it's not even going to work, but it, like I say, they make, chandeliers make great props. We spray painted it white. I'm using it in my home, but I took it down out of my home and we took it to the wedding and you will see it later on the reception but we hang it over the picnic tables and like i say it just adds such a special little elegant shabby chic touch to even an outdoor wedding now another great idea that adds color and is very inexpensive is spray paint mason jars this was pinterest inspired and you will see in the reception area that i decorate the table with several mason jars i sprayed them cream color and white Another idea I've mentioned in this video is if you have a friend or a neighbor that maybe has beautiful <laughs> ferns, greenery, florals, 
you know, borrow those. And my friend Lisa was so sweet to offer up her beautiful asparagus fern. She had five of them. And they actually, she had them in very pretty urn planters. So they already had like a decorative pot. So we, you know, used these thanks to her. And she also had some other items she let me borrow that day. She had some little architectural uh, little risers lanterns are a great rustic piece for an outdoor wedding and she had some tiki torches they had little copper um, inserts so we kind of lined the little reception area with these and just again like the candles it adds just a little bit of ambiance you know little tiki torches and it also just kind of adds a little border and gives you some structure to your area but just some more ideas just to help save money you know if you have a friend that has things you know, ask them and try to borrow some things. Another special touch we included in my daughter's wedding, and I don't know if many of y'all know, but my daughter is adopted from Russia. So when we were in Russia to adopt her, they had a crystal factory there, and they sold crystal very inexpensive, so we bought her a whole set. I got her little goblets or her little champagne flutes out. I washed them, and that's what they drank their soda and their water out of. Now, let's go to her wedding dress and the bouquets and the flowers that we use. My daughter went to a local um, bridal boutique, and I'm going to link it below, but it is called the Something Blue Shop in Hartsville, Alabama. Now, they may ship, so if you're out of town and you want to look them up, they have an Instagram account. My daughter's dress was less than $500. She got her veil on Facebook Marketplace. I think she paid between 40 to 50 on it. So, um, so just another resource if you're looking, you know, to save money on a wedding. Facebook Marketplace is a great place. You can even find lots of good wedding decorations. You know, wedding dresses are very inexpensive there. So, you know, don't ever rule out Facebook Marketplace because I think it's a great resource for weddings and decorations. Okay, now to the reception, the fun part. We actually changed the reception venue actually the day before the wedding. Well, actually two days before the wedding. We were originally going to go with a site at our church that was under some shade trees. But with the um, risk of rain, we when we went to look at the church on Thursday, just kind of finalize everything, we noticed this breezeway, and it kind of occurred to us, hey, we could have it under this, and it worked out perfect. So anyway, we kind of had to shift gears uh, really quick. So as far as decorating and stuff, I kind of just kind of had to throw <laughs> uh, everything together up under this breezeway now, but it worked out great because the breezeway come with these nice benches. It come with some very nice already um nice looking garbage cans you could you can see that it's a very large area it had picnic tables so that helped out a lot and that was another thing i wanted to point out we did rent the white chairs that you saw at the first of the video at the the wedding venue we rented those from a rental company they delivered them and they also came and picked them up and we used drop cloth uh, drop cloth is a great resource if you're trying to save money on table coverings we um, borrowed all of our tables from the church so they were free so um, the picnic tables were already out there so to me this space was a godsend um, it you know just as far as the furnishings it really worked out a lot better than than the little shade tree area but drop cloths for your table coverings also if you thrift and go to thrift stores or yard sales you know sheets are a really inexpensive way to make table coverings too but we went with the drop cloths i even ripped some and made table runners i bought some inexpensive lace on a bolt at walmart and then a lot of most all these decorations you see are things i already had on hand uh, these little white pictures are thrifted items that I spray painted white. I use them in my home. I just took them down and brought them. The greenery, I cut that from a magnolia tree so that my greenery was free. But Amazon has a lot of great options for garland and greenery. You know, if you know the exact size you're going to need. I'm kind of glad I didn't order any from Amazon because once we changed the venue and I was going with picnic tables versus 8-foot folding tables, 
um, I just kind of had to improvise and like I say I just clipped some magnolia and it was free and again I just want to point out you know old window panes tie some twine on them personalize them with their photos and like I say it just adds a special touch and this is also something that they can keep after the wedding we got our food catered from Publix I'd highly recommend them they had a great menu selection um, very good to work with and then we went with a wheelbarrow this was Pinterest inspired that was actually the Pinterest picture we filled our wheelbarrow with ice and we filled it with bottled water and canned sodas now we shopped around and found some canned sodas that were running on special at Publix and we got a good deal on them they were less than $30 for all the ones that we got we just got some fun flavors you know root beers lemonades things that people you know wouldn't normally drink and just made it fun I didn't get any footage of our wheelbarrow all set up because everything went so hectic during the reception so I failed to get that so anyway just to give you an idea Fill your wheelbarrow with some ice and whatever drinks you desire and that's a great cost effective way to do your you know your refreshments i'm just throwing in some more pinterest inspired pictures just to give you more ideas for your refreshments i originally had two of these canisters was going to fill those with punch and some drinks of you know water but due to covid i felt like that would be you know a little bit <laughs> more on the germy side so that's why we just went with the the canned drinks and the bottled water and the wheelbarrow but just giving you some more ideas for an outdoor wedding and your refreshments now i'm just gonna let y'all sit back and look at some of the photos that we got during the reception and i'm just gonna play some music and let y'all enjoy those and then i'll come back on um, at the end of these and i'm going to show y'all where they went on their honeymoon So when we originally started planning this wedding, we wanted to get um, under a budget of $5,000. Reagan and Noah decided they would rather have money to go on a honeymoon than an elaborate wedding, which I thought was a great idea. They chose to go to Vail, Colorado. Their dad was blessed enough to have frequent flyer miles, so their airfare was actually covered with that. But they got to go and spend the money. They asked for it, you know, in lieu of gifts for the wedding that people People just give them money toward their honeymoon and everybody was so gracious they were very blessed they got you know money to go on their honeymoon and enjoy their self they got to go do some shopping they got to go and enjoy some beautiful scenery and they made some lifetime memories that they'll never forget so I think they truly had a great wedding a great reception they got to spend the day with lots of family and friends and i think they got to go on a trip of a lifetime that they'll remember forever and at the end of the day i think that's what's most important is not the money that we spend in life but it's the time that we spend with the people 
around us that we love and care about. So I hope y'all have enjoyed seeing this video of our little rustic, uh, budget-friendly little fun wedding. And my daughter and my son-in-law couldn't be happier. Very happy for them. And I hope they live a very prosperous and Christian fulfilled life and they have a lot of love between them as you can tell in all their photos real quick before I end the video I want to show y'all some gel polish that I've been using for my nails I started using this in July and I don't know if you're familiar with nail addict but they are a vegan free and cruelty free um, nail polish um, company that in with a few products you can order from them and i'm going to have a link below with discount code you can order all your gel polishes and the light and everything that you need to do your own gel polish and manicures at home and i started using this in july and as you can see what my nails look like I have oily nail beds, so all during my lifetime, I cannot keep nail polish on my hands. If it stays on for a couple of hours, I'd be lucky. And y'all know what my hands go through in a day because y'all see me, you know, all the time on video in paint and sandpaper and, and just all kinds of elements of things. So it's really hard on the nails that I have. So in during the years and the older I get, my nails seem to chip and they seem to peel a lot worse. So I decided when Nail Addict reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out their product, I was like, sure, I'll try anything. <laughs> and I, I really a actually was not um, to be, I was kind of skeptical because I was like, nail polish will not stay on my nails. It, I don't care if it says it will, it doesn't. But y'all, I tried it. And since July, I'm going to show you what my nails look like now. And I'll show that in just a minute. But the nail polish is very easy to apply. You have a base coat. You basically put it under the light for 30 to 45 seconds. You add your color. And they have a variety of colors to choose from as far as nail polish. And then you apply a top coat. And again, you go under the light for 30 to 45 seconds. And I took it outside. I just want to show y'all how vibrant and beautiful their colors are this polish keeps such a shine and it stays on my nails literally for almost two and a half weeks and i could not be happier this is how much my nails had grown and that was i started using it in july that was august that was yesterday in september that is how much my nails had grown using the gel polish it makes my nails so strong it stays on and even in paint and all the elements that i go through in a day it washes off the nail polish very well so i just wanted to bring that to y'all's attention and you know and i put this in the wedding video because when you're getting photographed for a wedding you know you do want your hair to look presentable and you, of course you want your hands to look good and my nails look perfect for my daughter's wedding day so i couldn't be happier with nail addict and like i say i'm going to link their information down below if you're interested Rested. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing our special day and seeing our lovely daughter get married. Until my next video, I love y'all and thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon.